So let's talk about uh, layouts. Layouts are important because they're going to position our, um, our components inside our window. So depending which one you use, they're going to help us guide where each components go. The same thing as when you come in the classroom, the seats are already there and you just sit down in this specific position, right? So if we do a quick Google search, we'll, uh, we'll find out all these layouts that exist inside Oracle. And this is pretty interesting. We could always make our own custom layout or use the absolute positions to do that, but they become problematic as we try to become more adaptable to our users' need. So there's a list of, uh, there's a visual guide of all the layouts that's built in, and it's really helpful to come on this side and we see a visual cue of what we want, and we could read further and see how they work. The default layout that's being set or used by default inside of a JFrame is this border layout as you see here. The border layout's objective is to position, position them as a north, south, east, west, and center. And again, only one item could ever be at any one of these positions. This is why maybe at the beginning we'll have some difficulties positioning something in there. Uh, we'll try it out. The box layout uh, is another one which we could position them either horizontally or vertically and we could align them if we need to. And it keeps on going with card layout, flow layout, grid. Just read the little description and if you want to learn how to use them more, click on how to use that specific thing. They're pretty straightforward. Again, remember that documentation is part of your job. Learning about what you're utilizing is again part of your job. But if you scroll down, you could easily see an example of how to using it all being inside this specific uh, bolded font which is related to our in this case uh, which one are we using our box layout so here we're setting the layout to a box layout uh, we're saying which specific access required etc read a bit of the documentation and then when we add things you could see here we added a label we don't need to say anything more um, create rigid area we, we this created a box inside there we don't need to here's another example in this case we're doing a line access and again the comments should tell you how or what it's trying to do with these examples they're really important and useful so let's go with the default one and let's try and implement it in our thing so in this case border layout we have if you read here we have five areas uh, the areas are specified by border layout uh, constants. So if we type in border layout dot, we could see the constants that exist, page start, page end, line end, etc. So this is for border. I thought this was north and whatnot. So I guess they changed the wording maybe. Let, let's try it out, see how it goes. So let's go back to uh, our application. And right now, because we set the layout to null, this is using the content pane. Don't really need to go too deep into this uh, unless you're working on this more. But uh, the moment we set it to null, we're setting it to absolute position layout. This means basically we have to specify where our object's going to be. So um, let me just go ahead and run this just so we see what we left it off the other day. I can't remember by heart. So basically we have an enter name, a label, a text field and a button. Okay, they're positioned kind of the same way. So let's go back. So if we take this off, if we comment it out, by default, it should be using, um, by default, it should be using uh, the border layout, I believe, uh, which is this. So they renamed it. Normally you do north, left, uh, sorry, north, east, south, and all that stuff. I don't know why they named it to page start line start, line end. I guess it makes a bit more sense than north, south, east, west. Anyway, so let's go ahead and what does that mean? So having that commented out, or we could definitely set it out ourselves by saying, uh, which layout do I want to use? Notice that the moment I create the object, box layout, group layout, that object is going to take care of positioning things for me. So here, we're setting the layout we set to a border layout. We could do control uh, Q to get a little information. If you look at the control Q here, let me position this a bit differently. 
inside ours, let me bring it more. Inside ours, notice that it says north, south, east, west, center. So it could be that the version of Java that we're utilizing here hasn't been updated with the documentation in, uh, inside, or that there is actually there is two different ways we could do it. So whichever positioning method, they're the same thing. It's just different ways of saying it. You could utilize to position things inside your layout. So let's go ahead and try that out. So we're going to create a new border layout. I'm going to do control P inside the parameters. We could give it a horizontal gap and a vertical gap. I'm guessing that's between each elements that is. So let's say this one. So the horizontal gap, the vertical gap. Uh, yeah, so there's a gap. I'm guessing the gap is between each element. So right now we're just going to leave it to default. We could come back and play with this. Let's go down. Now we got three objects and we set the positions and height and width. This time we're going to remove these and we're just going to add it. And when we add, we specify where we want those things to be. So let's say over here, the label, we could make it comma. So there's another, uh, another overload of this, which we could say where the object constraint is. So in this case, we want to use the border layouts constraints. So we're going to say border layout. It's a static method. So border layout, the class name dot, and you could see here the north, the east, the line end, etc. They're all the same thing. So in this case, I want the label to be on the north side. I'll put it there. I want the submit button to be on the south side. Can it pick up like this? No, I have to really say border layout dot south. And again, you could have used the line start, line end, etc., etc., whatever they are. And the field, I'll make it center. Now, the cool part about doing this is we don't need to manage our items. Let me just go ahead and this sorry my mouth is really dry now look at this the screen size whatever the screen size was we got our label in the north it takes the whole row so if we want to center it we'll have to let it know to center and then we have our text thing in the middle here it takes the whole space so if i wanted to have multiple lines it could be i just need to use something else than text field maybe a text area and then we have our submit button at the bottom. Now, why is this so good compared to a, a absolute value? Well, look at this. If I resize, it resizes with it. I could even modify the constraints for these to get a better scaling or different scaling than giving the center to the text field. Let's go back here for a second. So this arranges things for me. Uh, so now let's see if we give it some gaps. We have the horizontal and the, we got the vertical. Horizontal would be this way, left to right. So that's the gap between left to right. We have nothing left to right each other. We don't have an east or a west. So here we could leave it to a blank. But let's say a vertical gap, which is top to bottom, we could give it like, let's say, a 10. Let's see what happens and play around with this. This is the fun part of exploring some new tools. And now if you look, the items the components are not touching each other anymore. There's a 10 cent, well, 10 pixel gap between each other, right? If you want to make it higher, so maybe you could see a little variations. Hundreds a big number. You could see that the gap between each other is a bit too much and a bit ugly. So you could play around with this. This is a fun thing to do. Now, the problem comes down to, um, well, I want other things. I don't just want five items in my, my, my object. I want to have more items. Let's say on the line start, or in this case, the east. So I want to do something else. On the line, the east side, I want to add a list of buttons or something similar. So this time I want to use a box layout. So we're going to go to how to use a box layout. In this case, um, we go down. We got to set the box layout, a list pane that we're going to use and the box layout page access. So let's get this going. So to be able to do this, we need to add 
we need to are we recording yet? so uh wrong button one second there we go so for us to be able to do this we need to create ourselves a panel and we need to specify what layout to utilize so let's go ahead and do this why do we need to create a panel? Because this is not our JFrame. We don't want the full screen to be a list. We just want on the left side of this to be a list. So before we start making the, uh, the panel, let's try a button by itself, see how it looks. So let me scroll this down. So inside our create components, we're going to create, I'm just gonna put it here so it's a bit off of everything else. We're gonna create another J button. And this is our left side button. Okay, we don't really know what we're going to do with it. And we're just gonna give some text A. And I wanna add this. So we're gonna add this to our, to our main thing. And we're gonna add it to our border layout. And we're gonna talk about east, right? Uh, actually west, we want it to be on the left side. So if I did it correctly, let me run it again. I done it correctly we should see it on the left side yeah now if i add another button this is where the problem comes let's say i copy this and i add b here and i add left side button 2 and we run it again you notice the problem is we see the a but there is no b because the way this layout is made is only could contain one component now the interesting part it, even though it could only contain one component you see the b is not shown that component could be a container and this is what we're going to do what we're going to do is we're going to create a container a panel uh, west let's call it west uh, container and we could even say panel whatever method of naming you utilize now here inside the parameter we could definitely say what the layout manager is but we can't do this or this specific uh, layout manager we want to utilize why is that well inside this layout manager we want to utilize is called a box layout so box layout i'm going to create a box layout here the problem is for the uh the the constructor of the box layout, we need to give it a container. We need to tell it who is the container. But the container is being created here, right? Creating a new J panel, and before it gets created, we need to give it. It's a bit difficult to do this in one line because, look, if I type in West container panel, it doesn't exist yet for us to be able to do it. So what we need to do is do this in two lines. We're going to create our J panel. Then we're going to say our West container panel dot set the layout new. What was it called? Box layout. And now to give that target, we could just say West container panel. Cool. And uh, what is this? The magic constant int access. I'm not too sure what that is. We're going to come on box layout, do control Q parameter. The second one, the axis, the axis to layout components along can be done, can be one of these. Box layout x axis, so it's gonna go like this. Y axis could go like this. Line axis and page axis, I'm not too sure. We could look them up if need be. For now, let's do it as a y axis and see how it is. So now it's going to hopefully go this way. And if we made it wrong, we'll fix it. And lastly, we need to add this to our top level container, currently our J panel. So we're going to do add, we're going to do West container panel, and where are we going to add it to the West side, uh, which I need to write border layout dot West. Now, if we run it, we have it semi done. Why is that? Well, again, our panel here doesn't take any space. So the A came in and then the B, there's no space for it. I don't know what the rules of which gets to be here because all three of them are in the west but having these buttons are still not being shown what we need to do is make these buttons not part of the the root one not part of the jframe uh, layout uh, not part of the 
which layout was this this was the border layout we need it to be part of the panel so over here what we're going to do is rather than adding them directly to uh, our JFrame, we're going to add them to our panel. So we're going to say here, before our but uh, add, I'm going to say the West cont uh, Container Panel, add the left side button. And to be honest, I don't think it requires any of these. And we're going to do the same thing for this other button. And we're going to add it. So now, this Swiss container panel is added to our, our border layout, which is the positions of south, north, east, west, whatever, right? That's where this one is being added. And then these two buttons are going to be added to that panel, which is taking the west side. So if we run it, we should see two buttons being showcased on our west. Uh, in this case, I only see one button. Oh, because I forgot to add it. <laughs> uh, left side button number two. I, I forgot the number two, so this was grayed out. You saw that? So let me back a bit. There we go. You can see it's grayed out. It's not being used. This is the problem of copy paste. All right. Let's run it again. Dun, dun, dun. And now we could see a list of buttons showcasing on the website. Why? Because the west side is given to my panel. And inside that panel, we're utilizing a box layout and we're positioning them and a Y axis left to right. And we could play around with sizes and so forth, so on. So now if we set the size, it'll get a bit more size than just enough for the thing. So maybe we want to do something like this. Left side button, um, set size. And we could say the width and the height, um, I don't know, let's say 250. It's a pretty big stuff, but let's try it out. Oops. Let's see if it's going to resize and give me more size. No, because these are children of the panel. So they could only fit in the panel. So this was good, but just not to the correct thing. What we should have done is to give a size to our panel. By doing this, we're enforcing that the border layout gives Oops, the border layout gives more space to our panel. Hmm, maybe not. What did I do wrong? Do, 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 do. With height, this is something we need to check documentation. Come back to here. Let's go back to our border layout. How to use border layout, blah, blah, blah. Let's scroll down to some examples. Ah, we have to set preferred size. I'm going a bit fast because I'm kind of used to this thing a little bit. I only worked on it for, I'm not a Swing fan or Java fan, but good enough to do our thing. So here we're going to set preferred size. And we require a dimension. How did they do it over there? Just to see. Yeah. Okay. So new dimension. And here we're going to give the width. So 200 and the height 50. I don't really want to give a height, but whatever. Cool, look at that. So now we got our space that we want, All right? Now, uh, even though it got the preferential treatment, how do we make the buttons expand towards it? So again, we have to go look inside our documentation. Let's go back now. Now we're talking more about a box layout that we utilize. We go inside there and we could check some code. Dum dum dum. Set layout. These are adding. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, sorry guys, pausing. All right, sorry about that. I'm not going to restart the video. It's 20 minutes in, so. Uh, let's get back to what we were doing. In this case, we were, we wanted to see, we wanted to make these buttons take more space than, um, well, I wanted to take the full space rather than taking a small amount of space to fill in the gap. So normally what's going on is taking enough space to show the content of those buttons, as you could see here. 
So what we want to do is make these buttons maybe expand and maybe uh, if you want to make spacing, etc., you got to look into what's going on. So uh, in this case, we're utilizing the box layout. We could read some documentation and so forth, so on. For now, uh, let me close this one and let's go back on to how to use our box layout. So box layout features. Let's just do a size. Uh, da, 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 da. It takes the components alignments and minimum preferred and maximum size into a, a account. Da, 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 da. Let's just skip a lot so you guys don't have to read. Um, so again, remember that your job is going to be a lot to do with documentation, reading and understanding what's going on. This is going to be your life. Again, remember that if, if you, uh, if you uh, rely too much on Google, you're going to be stuck. Why? Well, because at some point, we're going to do something that hasn't been done yet. So if you're always expecting your answer to be online, you're going to be stuck many times. You need to get used to looking at documentation, making sense out of it, and so forth and so on. So again, trying to go fast here, we could see this layout kind of taking the full size. Maybe this is what we want. Uh, what if none of the components has a maximum width? In this case, if all the components have identical X alignment, then all the components are made as wide as their container. Cool, this looks like what we want. Uh, then any components with X alignment, right alignment, it will be smaller. All components with intermediate X alignment, blah, 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 blah. Well, this demo is kind of what we want. Now I just want to read a bit more. I'm going to pause the video so I don't waste your time. All right, so with a little bit of research, I found out that uh, if you utilize the set maximum size, we could set it up to the size we want. And in this case, if you look at line 38, in this case, what I've done is I set the maximum size of that button, the one with the ASD, whatever, to the preferred size that I set the panel for, which is over here, 250. I do it like that so that uh, this will directly be the same size as whatever the panel is. If I ever change it, those will change to match. So all we need to do is also do it for button two, which we're going to do. Again, remember with copy paste, some issues could happen. So this took me like a five, 10 minutes to read around because I was trying some other fancy ways and you know, we, we got it. So now uh, overall, we got a container which has a north, west, center, there's no east, not yet, and a south. And on the west side, we have a panel which contains a box layout for whatever we want to do. In this case, we added buttons and we set their maximum size, right? Uh, for all the other layout designs that exist, I'll let you look into it yourself. If you do have any question, uh, ask me. For the website that we were looking at, this one, uh, like the previous video with the components, I'm going to add the link inside the comments, uh, not inside the comments, well, inside the comments or inside the description of this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Cheers.